Hello guys, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we are going to see pandas data frame dot sub function. So before we go ahead, let's see what is pandas. Pandas is an open source Python library that is built on top of NumPy library. Pandas enables us to use Python programming language for efficient data analysis. Pandas helps us in cleaning and preparing data for various analytical purposes. Pandas can work well with variety of data sources like SQL files, Excel sheet, CSV file and many others. Now let's see what is Pandas data frame. Data frame is a two dimensional heterogeneous data structure with labeled access. For data analysis, we store our data in Pandas data frame. Pandas data frame has various built in methods which helps us to perform various operations on our data. Now we will see what is Pandas data frame dot sub function. Pandas data frame dot sub function is used for finding the subtraction of the given data frame and other element files. Other could be a scalar value, a series object or another data frame. This function is essentially the same as doing data frame minus other. This function extends the support to substitute for missing data in one of the inputs. Hi guys. So now we will see pandas data frame dot sub function implementation. So first we will import pandas library as pd. Now we will create a data frame. I have already created this data frame. So I'm just going to go ahead and run this line. Now let's visualize this data frame. So this is what our data frame looks like. Now we'll create a series object. Let's visualize the series object. Now we will subtract the series object from the data frame. So let's perform the subtraction. I'm just going to go ahead and run this line. So this is the result of subtraction of the series object from the data frame column wise. Here axis is equals to one indicates that the subtraction should be performed column wise. Now we'll see how to subtract a data frame with another data frame. So let's create the second data frame. Let's visualize this data frame. So this is what our data frame looks like. Now we will perform the subtraction of DF2 data frame from DF. So this is the result of subtraction of DF2 data frame from DF element wise. Thank you for watching. Please leave us your likes and comments.